Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create column grids in Revit using Dynamo. Grids are the basis of construction. They determine where your structural columns are going to go and your walls, which in turn ensures that your building is going to stand. How convenient would it be if you could automate the entire layout of your building grid? No more worrying about the column heads aligning or the exact spacing between columns. Just automate the entire process. So I'm going to be showing you two Dynamo scripts that can do just that and save you a lot of time. The first is going to produce a grid with fixed spacing. The second, varied spacing. This is a very simple script. You just need two nodes to produce a vertical grid and then two to produce a horizontal grid. I'm going to be using a code block and point by coordinates to specify the X vector, the Y vector, and then the Z vector. So what this is saying is that on the x-axis from the point 0 to 60 with a spacing of 10, I want a grid line at each of those points. And then I want the head of the grid bubble to start at 50 on the y-axis and the end to end at minus 10. Let's run this program to see how it works. So you can see a vertical grid was produced, seven column grids were formed, starting at 50 and ending in minus 10. Now let's make the horizontal grid. Similarly, it's going to start at minus 10 and end at 70 on the x-axis. On the y-axis, we want it to go from minus 5 to 40 with a spacing of 10. And of course, the units are what you specify in your project. So here's your horizontal grid. Let me relink the vertical grid again and run it and now you see the final grid outcome. While that script was great, it just allows you to change the start and end points of those column grids and the spacing between them. It doesn't allow for very grid spacing. So let me show you another Dynamo script that I make that will allow for that. This one's a little more complicated and has more math involved, which gets me excited. Um, to produce the vertical grid, I have a code block which shows the spacing between each of these column grids that I want. I then use the get keys and another call block to get a list of all these uh, column spacings. And then using the math sum node, I specified the starting point of the vertical grid, the very first one that I want, and then subsequently add the other spacings to that to get all the other column grids. And of course, we want our z vector to be zero. For the starting and end point of the column grid, I'm specifying a minus 10 to a 50 on the y-axis. Similarly, for the horizontal grid, I also have another code block that would specify dif different set of values, which are the grid spacings. And once again, I have a zero for the z vector, but I want the column grid to start at minus 10 on the x-axis and end at 60 on the x-axis. I use the grid by start point and end point for both of those horizontal and vertical grids. Let's go to the vertical grid and measure the distance between the column lines to verify that the script ran properly. So we want the distance between the first and the second column lines to be 3, which is what it is. Between the second and third, 14, and then 5 feet, 22 feet, and 6 feet. That's perfect. Now, let's go to the horizontal grid and verify that. 10 feet between the first and the second, and then 3 feet, 20 feet, and lastly, 4 feet. That's perfect. So the advantage of this second Dynamo script is the flexibility to allow for different grid spacing. Of course, if you needed to produce angled column grids, you could just play around with the start and the end point of these column lines and produce the grid that you want. Let's take a look and see how that would work. So let me take a, another list here. So you can see it produces angle column grids. Of course, it's random, but by changing the input values, you could produce a very precise column grid that fits your needs. And that's it. Simple and successful automation of column grids in your Revit model. As always, click on the link below in the description to download the two Dynamo scripts that you just saw and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you thought it was useful.
Stay tuned for more videos to come. And until then, I'm Belinda. This is Automation and Building Construction. Thanks for watching.